Welcome back to another episode of Dow from the Riverbank. We've all heard anecdotal stories of some of the old masters in Chinese martial arts history. Often the historical facts are hard to distinguish from myth. However, the stories are fun to hear and today I'm going to relay a story about Yang Lu Chan, also known as Yang Fu Kui, who was born in 1799 and died in 1872, who was the founder of the Yang style of Tai Chi Chuan. This is from a classical Yang style book and the chapter is by a Mr. Gu Liu Xin. The copyright stays with the publisher and the writer and I'm sharing this for educational purposes only. Yang Lu Chan had been recommended by Wu Ru Qing to teach Tai Chi Chuan in the ancient city of Beijing where many nobles and kinsmen of the Qing dynasty learnt martial arts from him. Prince Duan, from one of the royal families in the capital, employed many boxing masters and wrestlers, some of whom were excited to test themselves against Yang Lu Chan, which he would regularly decline. However, one day, a famous boxing master of high prestige insisted on competing with him to see who was the stronger. The boxer suggested that they sit on two chairs and pit their right fists against each other. Yang Lu Chan had no choice but to agree. Shortly after the contest began, the boxing master began to sweat all over and his chair creaked as if it was going to fall apart. But Yang Lu Chan looked as composed and serene as ever. Then he got up and in a gentle tone to the onlookers said, The master's skill is indeed superb. Only his chair is not as firmly made as mine. The master was so moved by his modesty that he never failed to praise Yang's exemplary conduct and unmatched martial skill. Later on, whenever anyone wanted to try his prowess with Yang Luchan, he would throw the challenger to the ground without injuring him. In this way, Yang Luchan gained great fame and high prestige and was nicknamed Yang the Invincible. He was later appointed martial arts officer for the Qing court 